Hi, Kenzie. Hi. Hey, How hey. are you? I am good. Happy Monday. How are you? Yeah. Good. Good. Are you busy? Yes, actually. <clears throat> Did I ever thank you for sending me Ryan? Uh, I don't think so. Are you serious? Kenzie, you're the <laughs> best. Thank you so much. I always, I always mean to message someone right away whenever they send me a friend of theirs or whatever. But yeah, I was able to help him and get him started with his ad, with his like ad. Oh, awesome. You're yeah. Awesome. I'm going to take care of a few thousand. I think I, I sent um, another one to you too. I sent BJ McCarthy to you. Um, she asked again how to get in touch with you. And I said, just message you on Facebook. But Awesome. Yeah, I haven't. She can either message me on my personal page or my business page, whatever. But Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Let me help you. What do you got going on? What are you working on? Um, well, I have a listing um, and um, we've got um, a drone video. I just want to put some ads awesome. out there, but I, you know, I want to do, I don't, before I do anything, I want to be able to yes. we'll learn more thing. And <laughs> there, there's a whole like, and, and this is the, the number one reason why people don't succeed with Facebook ads is because there's a few basic steps that need to be set up prior. Mm -hmm. Most people think they can just come in here and boost a post. Right. And, and that's going to do it when, when that's just the, the complete wrong way to do it. Like there's a few steps and it, and it has to do with a landing page. Mm -hmm. So it's either, it's either a landing page or, or an actual lead generation. So for example, let me, let me walk you through this real quick. How okay. much time do you have? Do you have like at least a half an hour? Yeah, I've got all day. <laughs> okay. Okay. Awesome. Let me, let me really teach you some things really, really quick. Okay. Um, let me pull up, let me pull up the ads manager really quick because here's, here's pretty much your options. And I'm going to kind of justify why not just Kartra, but a landing page software. I'm going to, I'm going to just really explain why it's absolutely required, like why it's needed. Okay. Um, because there's two options. You either go the landing page software or you go, like when you come in here to the ads manager and you click on create, here's pretty much the options. The number one reason why most do not succeed with Facebook ads is because it starts here. Like there's three steps to setting up a Facebook ad and most people go with the wrong objective. This is step one. Mm -hmm. So step one is the objective. Step two is the budget and the targeting. And then step three is the actual ad. Right. So either you're running a video or you're running an image and you write out the text, you know, whatever. That's the third step is the actual ad. But it's this first step, the objective where most get it wrong. Um, and then, and then most don't even get to this part. They'll just go over here to their page and they'll see the, the blue button boost post and they just boost it from here when it's like, no, you have to come into the ads manager. You have to click this create, you have to click this ad and that brings you here. So you want to run it, you want to run ads from a computer. You want to run it from the ads manager, but here's your, here's your two options. And, and when it comes to, when it comes to landing page software, the majority of them, and this is stuff that I study, right? Like I'm an online marketer. Like I know every software under the sun when it comes to leads, capturing leads. Mm -hmm. And there's, a, there's many different in real estate, but they're, they're all the same. Um, but the majority of them, especially just out of real estate in the, just in the online marketing world in general, the majority of them, nine out of 10 of them are on a hundred bucks a month. So the pricing of Kartra, it's the same $99 a month. All of them run $99 a month. So it's either, it's either we get landing page software or we run this objective right here, lead generation. So the difference is, is that with lead generation, for example, let's say, let's say I'm over here in the newsfeed. Let's just look at a random ad. Um, that's a sign up. Let me see if I can find a learn more. Um, okay. Here's a learn more. Okay. So here's your ad. There's the, there's the, you know, the title right. of the business page. There's the word sponsored. There's the text. There's the image. Here's the learn more button. So with your ads, you'll have the learn more button. Mm -hmm. A lead generation. A, let me go back to it. I'm sorry. This one right here. So, so if a person is looking to capture leads, get someone's name and number or get someone's name and email. Mm -hmm. It's either going to be lead generation or it's going to be conversions. Okay. Conversions is when you have a landing page. Now here's the difference with lead generation. You use Facebook's landing page. So 
a lot of, in fact, let me go back. A lot of these solar companies, they actually use the Facebook lead, lead form. Let me see if this guy does. I click on learn more. Actually, no. See, he's taking me to a landing page. So anytime you click on a learn more, anytime you click on an ad and it takes you outside of Facebook, that's a landing page. Okay. So this is a landing page right here. This guy's taking me to one single page asking for name, email, phone number, and address, and one single button. That's a landing page. So if it wasn't a landing page, he would have been running lead generation. And, and, and with lead generation, when you click on learn more, you're not taken out of Facebook. Facebook simply pops up a form. And now you're using Facebook's lead form. The reason why I don't do that is because there's more micromanaging of it. So for example, here's what happens. When, when you go lead generation and someone sees your Facebook ad and they click on learn more and, and they stay on Facebook, so a lead form pops up, they fill out that form. What you have to do now is you have to go into your business page and you have to grab that lead. And then after that, you got to do something with it. So for example, it's just the lead. You're going to have to export that lead, put it into some type of CRM, put it into some type of email autoresponder. Um, and there's more steps. So now I got to, I got to physically export that lead. I have to physically import it into a CRM and hopefully I have some type of CRM. Hopefully that CRM is an email autoresponder because I need a handful of emails going out and I'll show you, I'll give you a perfect example with the listing ad and, and how it, how the strategy is with, with a listing ad once that lead comes in. But, but with, with lead generation, you simply have to export that lead, import it into your own CRM. Again, hopefully that CRM has an, is an email autoresponder and hopefully you have a handful of emails going out. And in those emails, hopefully there's a way for that, per, for that lead to schedule a, schedule a call with you. Because in your business, everything is about getting that person on the phone. Like you have to talk to that person, mm -hmm. right? So getting the lead, you can, you can get the lead with lead generation, but then you have to take that lead off. Or you, I guess you can message them on Facebook, but that's just more, more micromanaging than, than I care to do. I don't ever do lead generation. And, and 9.999 out of 10 marketers don't do lead generation either. Because the whole purpose of advertising is to automate the entire thing. Like, I don't want to have to comment. I don't want to have to message you on Facebook. I don't want to have to lift a finger. So when I, go gen when I go conversions, just like this guy over here, so I click on learn more. He's taking me straight to a page. I enter my name and email. I click the button. That name and email goes into a CRM automatically, his email autoresponder automatically. Now a handful of emails are going out. And I'm willing to bet in these emails, there's a calendar or a way for me to schedule a call. I couldn't do that if I ran lead, if I ran lead generation. I would just have to physically manually do everything myself. So conversions is just a way to take them to a landing page and automate everything. And so when it comes to landing pages, again, the majority of them are about 100 bucks a month. All of them, all of them, even the most popular one, which is ClickFunnels. They're the most popular landing page software when it comes to digital marketing, online marketing, running ads. ClickFunnels is the most popular one. They've been around for the past, I think, six years. Um, they're $97 a month, and it's just for the landing page. So the reason why, and you can, you can, do as, you can edit, you can change, you can do as many landing pages as you, as you need, listing landing page, open house landing page. Like you can create as many as you need, okay. but it's just the landing page. Right. What's needed is I also need the email autoresponder. What mm -hmm. I also need is an, is an online calendar. So with Kartra, that's why I go with Kartra is because it's the landing pages, it's the email autoresponder, it's the CRM, which is the email autoresponder, and it comes with an online calendar. Those are the three tools that I need to automate the entire thing. So for example, if we're running an ad on a listing, here's the page I'm taking them to. So I would take them straight to a Kartra page. It all starts with the actual landing page. So they click on learn more, get mm -hmm. instant access to the price and photos of this property. Homes in this market move extremely fast. Schedule your private showing before the bidding war begins. And all this is edited. This is just a simple template. Like you can okay. change all this stuff. The person comes here, they click on the one single button, and this is where, where it all begins. So that person hits this landing page. They enter their name and email, send me the details. Again, automatically, 
So right when that yellow button is smashed, that email goes out. Hey, Kenzie, this is David. Thank you so much for inquiring on 777 Plaza Boulevard. This is an amazing property that's not going to stay on the market very long. Let me tell you a little bit more about it and give you some photos and all the details. And, 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 and you're going to enjoy the information that I send you. Like that's an automated email. Right. Next, tomorrow, another email has to go out. Hey, Dave, this is Kenzie. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you inquired on 777 Plaza Boulevard. Hey, I'll tell you what. We had an amazing showing last night. 15 families came out, and this property is not going to last. Hey, if you want to schedule a showing, click the link below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you, Dave. Third day, another email has to go out. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I'll tell you what, man. This property is not going to last. Click the link below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So as Kenzie is out with her dog, like these emails are going out. And in these emails, there's a link to your calendar. So again, if it wasn't Kartra, I would have, I'd be spending a hundred bucks a month just for the landing page, but I need an email autoresponder to communicate with these leads. And I need to give them the ability to schedule a call with me on an online calendar. Mm -hmm. that's how you automate the entire thing. And that strategy, that simple full, you know, what is it? Three steps, landing page, email automation, and a calendar. Those three steps are all automated from the ad that you have going out. Right. So, so that strategy, that three step strategy applies to anything. It could apply for an open house. So if I'm, if I'm, if I'm promoting an open house, okay, cool. I'm taking them straight they're seeing my ad. They click on learn more. They're coming straight to a page like this. Open house Saturday and Sunday, 444 Third Avenue. Click button below to RSVP. Simple, simple, basic page that gets them to fill out the form. Click here to RSVP. And then boom, right when they hit the yellow button, again, my email autoresponder automatically is triggered. Now, now that lead is going to get a handful of emails leading up to that weekend open house. <clears throat> mm -hmm. so if it's not a listing if it's not an open house then what i always consult on and what i always you know tell my clients and friends to do is you have to be running a weekly buyer or seller guide type of ad so you're either going to focus on selling or you're going to focus on buying and as you run weekly ads that's what your videos are going to be on so as you start to put out these weekly videos after the listing ad after an open house ad, you're, you're, you're doing weekly simple videos, just like you did over here. Simple. This right here is, this right here would crush it, Kenzie, like I'm telling you, but you got to do it weekly and mm -hmm. you want to stay on one topic. So as you start to roll out weekly ads, talking about the process of selling, here's the call to action at the end of your two minute video. At the end of your two minute video, your call to action is to say, hey, and by the way, guys, click learn more because it won't be send message. It'll be learn more. Click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free 2020 seller guide. This seller guide gives you a free step-by-step -step, you know, process on how to sell your home fast. So now all you do is you start to do weekly ads educating people or weekly videos educating people on the process of selling. And at the end, you're telling them to click learn more to download your free seller guide. So the objective is to run weekly ads and get this entire funnel, this entire back end full of hundreds of people that literally live down the street that are all downloading your seller guide. Mm -hmm. So I got a question. Yeah. Um, you, so the videos, the consistent videos, mm -hmm. a, buyer, a buyer guide or seller guide, mm -hmm. um, how can you um, play off of that into multiple videos? It's just a weekly video. Like, for example, just like you did over here with this two minute video, mm -hmm. you're going to do the same thing. It could necessarily be anything, but then throw a buyer guide video in there. Is that what you're saying? No, no. I'm, I'm saying this entire, like next week, for example, that entire two minutes is going to be, is going to be educating me on something regarding selling. Okay. Hey okay. guys, this is Kenzie. Just wanted to get on video real quick. I got a call from one of my clients and she was interested in knowing what the difference was between hiring a real estate agent versus trying to list her home herself. This is a smart woman. She's thinking about listing herself, you know, listing her property for herself by owner. I spent a good hour on the phone with her going over the pros and cons of, 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 of all that. And I wanted to share in, in a couple minute video with you what I shared with her. 
Hey, and by the way, guys, if you like to, if you like to, you know, get more of my tips and strategies, we put together a free 2020 seller guide that goes over a lot of these tips and tricks. Click learn more. It will take you straight to my page where you can download your free guide. Talk to you soon. Mm, and okay. so every week we're just doing a different top, not, not topic. We're staying on topic. That's right, the key. Right. Okay. But, but next week you're going to go over, let's say for example, let's say for example, next week it's a two minute video. Hey guys, this is Kenzie. Just wanted to come on video and share with you a tip that would really help you increase the value of your property this year. If you decide to sell it, I know a lot of, a lot of people are, are thinking about selling this year. I wanted to kind of share with you what I would do and what I advise my clients to do before they list. One thing that you guys want to really pay attention to is your kitchen. Renovating the kitchen can really bring some value to the overall price of this property. Here's what my client did. And all you're doing is like giving me little random tips on what I can do to increase my value. Like maybe adding solar, maybe painting the exterior, maybe new landscape, maybe, new, maybe a new roof. Like all these little random things that, that you know, like for example, if I, if, let's say for example, my wife and I, let's say we wanted to move. Let's say we're thinking about moving and I hit up my girl, Kenzie. I said, Kenzie, hey, my wife, we want to you know, sit down with coffee for you this weekend. And we're thinking about moving. We're thinking about selling our property. And I want to sit down with you to really kind of go over, you know, pick your brain on, on, on what you can do to maybe help us sell this house. Mm -hmm. If you took that listen appointment with me, Kenzie, and we sat down this weekend for coffee, you would talk my ear off. We'd probably spend a good hour and you'd tell me all these amazing things that you're going to be able to do, you and your company, you and your broker. You're going to be able to tell me, you would tell me all these amazing things that you'd be able to do to sell my house. Mm -hmm. Break that down into short form video. Right. And give me one per week. And at the end of it, you're offering me a seller guide. You're giving me a seller guide. So not only are you educating me in these weekly videos that you're literally targeting a very specific area. That's the magic. This is not for social media. This is for Kenzie's backyard. Right. Like we just keep, keep indoctrinating them with valuable content on the topic of selling real estate. And at the end of it, so not only am I, am I making them fall in love with me on the front end with my video because they keep seeing my damn face, but I keep educating them, educating, 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 and I'm giving away something for free of value. That's the magic. And as people come over here and start to download this guide every week, leads are coming in every week. And as you know, everyone is on a different timeline. Some are looking to sell now. Some are looking to sell in the fall. Some are looking to sell in the beginning of 2021. Everyone's on a different timeline, but you're filling your pipeline of all these people that are interested and they all happen to live in your backyard. Right. You know, so, so in this case, landing page, uh -huh. They enter their name and email. They're now on my drip system, which is my email autoresponder. And that email autoresponder, I would have you set up, let's just say 10 emails, 15 emails, pre-written, pre-set. This is automated. So you're not sitting here emailing these people. N not at all. Like, I ain't got time for that. Like right. I'll set it all up one time and then just put it into the system, which is the email autoresponder and let that thing just go. So every other day, that lead is being nurtured. Every other day, that person is hearing from Kenzie. Hey, Dave, just wanted to follow up. Hey, I know yesterday you downloaded my seller guide. Hey, do you remember on page seven when I was talking about curb appeal? Here's what I meant by it. And in this case, with a seller guide, it's so easy. It's so powerful because, again, so people love getting something for free. They'll give, they'll give up name and email all day for something for free. Right. <laughs> and, and in this case, it's something of value. Why would someone download their sell, your seller guide if there was no interest in selling? Like, why in the hell? Like, if I rented an apartment, like, why would I need your seller guide? Like, mm -hmm. people that are downloading the seller guide that live next door are, are seeing your videos. They're, in, they're becoming indoctrinated with your content. That's the power of video. Because as people continue to see you, and I know this personal firsthand because I'm building a YouTube channel, and I can see comments coming in. People keep seeing my video. That's the power of video. Right. As people keep seeing your video, they start, and this is just basic psychology. They start to feel like they know you. They start to feel like they trust you. Mm -hmm. And they start to feel like they like you. Right. That's no, video. Actually, after posting that first video um, that I got 8,500 views on, um, I was at an open house and a guy from Denver said, I saw your video online. <laughs> Are you serious? Dude, Kenzie, I'm telling you, man, that's just one video. 
Like, right. like that, you become literally a local. I mean, and he, that was totally random. Like you live right like an hour away from me. <laughs> it, 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 and he could have been he could have been somewhere in in the area at, at a certain time who knows and and that's when the video popped up in his newsfeed right you know so so that's the power of video man like after a few you're gonna literally be a local rock star mm-hmm. like it's a commercial it's a mini commercial that's what this is right no i totally so, but, agree that's why i'm the, so about this i think uh, after all the just research and, and thinking about it it just this mm-hmm. makes the most sense and and I don't really want to spend my money on other things because like this is this is gonna work. I know. I'm telling you, you're gonna you're, time, but like like you said, it's like a little mini celebrity in your town. <laughs> yes, that's that's what it is, and and that's why I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I I say this on every call. It's like your only budget from this day forward should be a Facebook ad budget and your landing page software. That's right. it. Like that mm-hmm. is it. There's absolutely zero. There's nothing else I need to be spending money on. Uh-huh. Nothing like no direct mail, no Zillow leads, absolutely zero. I'm not spending a dime on crap unless it's a Facebook ad or my landing page software, mm-hmm. you know, and, and, and start small with the Facebook ad, you know, 10 bucks a day, 300 a month, 300 a month is where you minimally want to be. And you just drop in a video, you're dropping a new video, one video every, every week. So, and, and keep it on the same day. So every, every Friday, Kenzie goes live with a new Facebook video ad. It becomes a weekly TV show, you know, but, but at the same time, it's, you're, you're not always going to have a listing. You're not always going to have an open house coming up. So you want to stay focused on buying or selling. Either we're going to give away a buyer guide or we're going to give away a seller guide. And, 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 and you want to stay on that topic. And, and the reason for it is because when you start to run Facebook ads, you start to build audiences of people that start seeing your stuff. Like with Facebook, once like for example it's this right like like i'm in my actual dashboard right now like this is my real dashboard right here i'm looking at all my different custom audiences all these different audi- all these a custom audience are people who are watching your stuff either people who are watching your videos or people who are landing on your pages mm-hmm. that's a custom audience so you want to build a custom audience of people in your local area that are all interested in the same thing that's why, that's why a lot of agents, they'll come on, on to social media and they'll start putting video out. One video, they're talking about foreclosures. Another video, they're talking about short sales. Another video, they're talking about forbearance. Another video, they're talking about buying. Another video, they're talking about selling. When you do that, you end up, you end up, you end up um, confusing the damn audience. You end up, you end, because you're grabbing, a, you're grabbing so many different types of people and you're actually confusing Facebook. Facebook's trying to find you your ideal client, but you keep trying to find different ones. Now you're finding one that's in foreclosure. Now you're trying to get the attention of someone that needs a short sale. It's a different person, Mm -hmm. right? So when you can really start rolling this out and you, and you're consistent, you start to build up your Facebook pixel and you start to build up these custom audiences where Facebook starts to learn who your ideal client is. Uh-huh. And if I can keep it simple for Facebook and only talk about one topic and only attract one type of person, then, then that's when your Facebook ads really, really start to start to start to show an ROI. And, and, and that's why attracting them, attracting them with one topic is one thing. Cause the moment someone enters your, the, let's say I, I, I focus on selling and my uh-huh. whole job is to educate you on the process of selling. The moment I get that person on the phone, let's say I attracted them this way. They're going to end up telling me about their cousin that's going through a short sale. Maybe, maybe they're looking to sell and they're, guess what? They're going to need me to buy. So as you know, you're going to, you're going to have overspill. You're going to find other opportunities just from bringing them through this one funnel alone. Does that make sense? Like all of a sudden they're going to tell you about their neighbor that wants to buy. Right. Right. So, so overflow overspill is going to come, but I got them this way i got them by educating them on one topic and they just happen to tell me about their cousin that is going through a foreclosure and needs help right you know so so you want to stay on one topic and and again it's it the, this the reason why a seller guide and a buyer guide is so powerful is because the ability to put those emails together based on this so for example a seller guide like I have a ton of different seller guides I can send you and give you an example of like, I have so many clients and they all send me their buyer guide and seller guide. And I just use them as examples to right. show other people. Like mm-hmm. 
a seller guide, for example, I have a ton of them, but some of them are 15 pages. Some of them are 27 pages. Some of them are nine pages. Uh -huh. It's an actual real PDF, right? With real value, teaching people how the hell to sell their house or buy it or whatever. But mm -hmm. all I do in the emails are all you want, all, or all you can, all you need to do in the emails, I should say, all you need to do in your email automation. So the moment they come here, they download the seller guide, those emails that they're going to get automatically for the next, let's just say 27 days are educating them on what was in that seller guide. So for example, on day five, Hey Dave, this is Kenzie. Just wanted to follow up. Hey, a few days ago, you downloaded my seller guide. Do you remember on page 13 when I was talking about renovating your bathroom? Here's what I meant by it. And all I'm doing is taking little pieces out of that seller guide, putting it into my email and in that email. So here's the objective with my video. This is the upfront. This is the top of the funnel. This is how I'm getting people's attention with my video. In that video, the call to action at the end is to click learn more. Mm -hmm. In my emails, the call to action is to get you to click my calendar link. So as that next email goes out on day nine, hey Dave, this is Kenzie, all you're gonna do is briefly talk about what was on page 15. And then at the end, and we're talking briefly, maybe two sentences. Hey, Dave, do you remember on page 15 when I was talking about what a brand new roof can do to the value of your property? Here's what I meant by it. And all you're doing is referring to that page, whatever that page 15, page 15 talked about, you're referring back to that. And then, and then, and, and then at the end of those two to three sentences, you're saying, hey, Dave, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call where I share all of these strategies with you, click the link below. It'll take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So in each email, the call to action is to get you to schedule a call. Uh -huh. So if you can imagine as these videos go out weekly, five, week number six, week number seven, video number eight, nine, 10, as, you, as these weekly videos go out, I'm filling my funnel with hundreds of people that live down the street that are getting my emails every day focused on one topic and getting people to schedule a call. Mm -hmm. So the ultimate goal is to wake up every day with a full calendar because these people on your list are scheduling calls with you. Right. That's it. And, and, and so landing page software Back to the objectives over, where did it go? Back to, back to this over here, it's conversions. So this right. is where everyone gets it wrong, is, is they don't run conversions to a landing page. And, and before you even do that, there's, a, there's, 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 there's actually, there, yeah, there's two steps that need to happen before you run conversions. And that's another reason why people don't succeed because they don't do that. They don't add their pixel, that's number one, your Facebook pixel needs to be on the landing page that allows Facebook to track who's landing there, which allows you to put them in a custom audience and show them future ads. That's number one. And then number two, they don't set up a custom conversion. Facebook needs to know. So for example, when they, when, when a person comes to this page, they see your, they see your ad, you're talking about selling, they click learn more, they come to this page, they hit the yellow button, they opt in. Let's go and click the yellow button. Mm -hmm. They opt in. Once they opt in, they come to this thank you page. This is the second page right here. Okay. Facebook needs to know about this page. So that's, that's, that's the second reason why most don't succeed with Facebook ads. Number one, they don't add their pixel to the page. And number two, they don't set up a custom conversion. A custom conversion is set around the thank you page. This URL, Facebook needs to know. So as you come in here and run a conversions ad, as you run a conversions ad, Facebook, they don't want to, well, yeah, they don't necessarily want to know about your landing page. They want to know about your thank you page. This right here is the most important. Without, without Facebook knowing about this page, which is your thank you page, no leads are coming in. So, so, so to make it even more clear, Facebook they don't want to know your, your goal. Like your goal is to get them to your landing page. Your goal is to get them to click learn more and go to your landing page to click the button and enter their name and email. That's your goal. But your ultimate goal is to get people here. Facebook needs to know that. They want to know your ultimate goal. And the only people that ever, ever, ever would ever in the world land here are people that filled out the form on the first page.
-hmm. Facebook needs to know that. So as long as you set this page up as a custom conversion, which I'll help you do, um, if unless you do that, you're not going to be able to run, you know, conversion ads successfully. Okay. And so as long as you as long as you have that that those two pages, the landing page, the thank you page, the pixel on the pages, custom conversion set up around the thank you page on the thank you page, I should say, you would you would crush it and 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 capture leads every day. That's just that's just as you know as simple as it as it gets and. And that's why the first video, the reason why you got 8,000 people to view it is because you went with video views. Mm -hmm. That's another reason why most people um, fail is because on ad number two, you'll do another video and you'll run video views. Okay. Ad number three, you'll do another video and you'll run video views. Because it's a video, we're thinking we want video views. We, we're thinking we want 8,000 views on every damn video. We actually right. don't. We actually don't. We only right. want 8,000 on the first video. Because what I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna create a custom audience mm -hmm. around all those people who watched it, and then I'm gonna show them ad number two, but now I'm running conversions. Gotcha. They saw me the first time, now they're gonna see me the second time. But the second time, I'm now telling Facebook, hey, I don't need 8,000 people to view it and not do a damn thing. I need, eight, I need these 8,000 people to see my second ad, and now click Great. learn more to give up their name and email. That's conversions. So, so the first ad, it's just to get that, that market warmed up to you. It, it's so people, hey, I saw you in my newsfeed. Okay, now you're going to see me again. Mm -hmm. And this time you're clicking learn more. Right. Right. So, so um, there's a few steps that need to, need to happen prior. But um, I'm telling you, it, it, you already got it. You got what it takes. Video is all it takes. If you right. can do one video per week, you will crush it. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you with this entire back end of Kartra. Um, you got to just set it up. I'll, I'll help so you with all this. Is that just a video of her? Thank you for. Yes. Yes. I'm glad you brought this up. Write this down. Write this down. Do you have a pen and paper? I'm writing everything down. Okay. <laughs> I got like four pages. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm recording this as well. So I'll send you the copy of the recording. Okay. But here's the deal. Again, it doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a listing an open house, a seller guide, a buyer guide, whatever. It's the same damn strategy. And it, and it applies for any business as well. It could be a restaurant. It could be a yoga studio. It could be a, a, a local gym down the street. It could be a chiropractor. It could be a dentist. Every single business owner is online trying to capture a lead of an interested person. It's the same process. Landing page, thank you page, same thing. On this thank you page, here's what you're going to do. There's four points you're going to touch on. And, and it applies for everything, everything, listing, open house, whatever, anything. Here's the four things you, you're going you're gonna to touch on on this quick 60-second video. Number one, you're thanking them, obviously. Hey, guys, thank you so much for downloading my free seller guide. Let me tell you a little bit about what's in this 15-page you know, PDF, blah, 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 blah. And you just you thank them for downloading that guide. That's number one. That has to be stressed. You want to show your appreciation for sure. That's number one. Number two, you're introducing yourself. Hey guys, this is Kenzie. Let me just tell you a little bit about my background and, 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 and you know, who I am just so you can get familiar on, on what I'm doing and, and how fired up I am about helping you, you know, achieve your goal. You're, it's not a pitch and it's not a long introduction like you did on the video, for example. It's just a short hello. You know, here, here, my name's Kenzie and, and I work with this brokerage and I'm fired up. You know, it's just a quick little intro of you. That's number two. And then number three, you're telling them to check their email. You guys, make sure you check your email because I just sent you an email of your free uh, PDF of your seller guide. Check your email. I just sent you all the specs on this beautiful listing. Check your email. I just sent you all the details of this open house coming up. I sent you a bunch of photos as well, so check your email. And also, check your email over the next few days because I have a ton of great information coming your way. That's number three. So I'm automatically programming them to not only check their email now because I just sent them what they just inquired on, but I'm also mentioning, hey, I have a ton of more emails coming your way, so make sure you don't miss one single one of them because you're not going to want to miss my emails. I'm going to be educating you on the seller guide. I'm going to be educating you on this listing and other listings we have that are available. I'm going to be educating you, so don't miss out on my emails. That's number three. And then number four, there's a call to action. Number four, hey, guys, and by the way, if you'd like to jump on a call now, click the button below. It will take you straight to my calendar where you can schedule your best time. Can't wait to talk to you. So, so number one,
thank you. Number two, introducing myself. Number three, check your email. Number four, click the button to schedule a call. And so that video, that could be a 60 second video and that's powerful. Like not only did they see you on the front end in video, but now they're seeing you on the back end in video. And, 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 and now, now, now it's like you won. No yeah. other agents doing that, Kenzie. I'm telling you, man, I speak to thousands of you guys. No one's doing this. Yeah, I know they're not. And that's why I'm like, you know what? I've been watching way too much million dollar listing in this quarantine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I got on to like reading this book that um, his name's Ryan Serhant. And oh yeah. Like, I love that guy. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I was like, I've never seen the show. And I started binge watching it like two weeks ago. And now I'm like, you've never I, seen that show. No. What? <laughs> Not until recently. I knew about it, but I just said, I thought it was going to be more like drama. <laughs> Which, Which it is. It actually yeah, is, it, right? It is. But it is. It's, it's definitely like just right in my alley. It makes me want to move to New York City and go work for him. <laughs> so, so there's, you know, there's an LA one as well, right? There's LA Right. Yeah, I know. I, I saw that one the other day too. <laughs> yes. I, yeah, I love, I love those shows. I haven't watched them in a very, very long time, but it, but I, but I came across them a long, long time ago. Like I, yeah, and they're just doing things that no one else has the balls to do really. And, and that's right? kind of I feel like what yes. this is. no one, yeah. re I really don't want to do video, but um, I think it's going to be more beneficial in the long run. <laughs> well, just look at it this way. It's video to your local area. It's not video for everybody in the world. Mm -hmm. you know like those guys for example they're on tv so there are there are millions of people are watching them from all over the place right you know yeah. so but but in this case i'm focused on just a few zip codes like just that local area mm -hmm. you know that that that's this video and that's the power of, of a simple facebook ad you know and that's what no many don't do they'll they'll do the video but they'll post it all over social media when 99 percent of their people that follow them are all over the place yeah, that's kind of, you know, that, that's, that's, I, I don't, I don't believe in that. I'm like, dude, you're putting in the time, you're putting in the energy you have, you're putting in the effort, but just target the damn video, run an ad. Yeah. You know? So that's, that's all this is, is just getting the, the attention of your local area, you know, and, and building up that, building up that funnel. Mm -hmm. So there's a 14 day trial set it up and, and I can import a bunch of these funnels that I already have. I have, um, I have a, a listing funnel. And again, you can change all this stuff out, like put the image of the property, obviously in the right, background. Right. That's what my biggest concern was. Heck yeah, no, it's all. I had a meeting with my managing broker um, and well, it's like a company meeting. Um, and she was showing us how to do a landing page, um, mm -hmm. how we can create it. We've got a software that can create it. I use bomb bomb. I don't know if you're familiar with yes. that. Yes, for um, sure. Yeah. So I've got bomb bomb and, um, she was showing us how I could create ads and stuff on there, but I want to, and I can run that as a, um, landing page. But I mean, if this software does it too, it's fine. I just wanted to be able to customize it to look a certain way. Whatever, whatever software that can provide the landing page, the email autoresponder and an online calendar. That's uh -huh. all you need. Right. Okay. And, and that's, that's, again, that's why I went with Kartra because it's all three in one. And if it wasn't all three in one, then all of them would be independently and they'd be, they'd be that would be three monthly, oh, yeah. monthly bills. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so, so if, if bomb bomb has the landing page and the email automation, then that's two of the three. What you'd right. have to get is, is an online calendar, which would be, which would run you about, I mean, there's, there's a free one, there's Calendly, but after the free version, I think it's like 20, like 20 bucks a month. You know, if you go that without, and the only reason why people would upgrade is so they don't have the Calendly branding on the, on their calendar. You know, it kind of looks, you know, weird, but, um, but then, but then I have to pay separately. That's, that's the only thing. So with this, I'm in the builder. I can just hover over and I can change out right. like so simple. Like it's, it's like, it's, it's too easy. Like I can change out anything. I can change the color. I can change the text. I can, it's just, it's just simple. Like, okay. You know, yeah. it's, it's, it's just basic. I'm to do today. Yeah. Like I can add different so, things down here. 
I had, um, I wanted to ask you, because I was about to do it yesterday, but I wasn't sure, because um, there was, you know, the $99 a month, and then there was $199. Um, I just wasn't you don't sure. You that one. Okay. I just yeah. wasn't sure if it was like, well, if I love it that much, and then want to upgrade eventually, I could do that, or... Yeah, you don't need that at all right now. Like, you don't need that at all right now. And, and, and the, the difference in pricing is really the amount of leads. So I think it's, I think it's like, I think the 99 allows you to go up to 2,500 leads. It does, yeah, I think I saw that. Yeah, and at that point, I mean, gosh, you're going to be crushing it. And, at that, and if you need to upgrade, then you'll upgrade at that point. But Wait, okay, I see what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, okay. Yeah, I can't. Yeah, I don't know if I can handle 2,500 leads all at once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'll need to hire a few people before I upgrade them. <laughs> right? Yeah, like that. Yeah, you're far from that part. So, all you're going to do in here, really, really focus on here is, is my communications, which is the email autoresponder, uh -huh. my pages, which are all the landing pages, and then my calendar. Okay. That's pretty much it. And, and the rest is really for. The rest is really for people that sell digital products. Like that's like my products, for example, is my ebook. Like I have a book that I wrote about all this stuff and, and I, and I sell that book. I also have a membership course where I have all these, all these video, all these trainings on video that I sell to other real estate agents. I have an actual training course. That's all here on Kartra. So there's other bells and whistles to it. But in your case, it's just my communications, my pages and my calendar. Mm -hmm. that's where you'll where you'll you'll kind of be um and then and then we have weekly calls so every tuesday and thursday at 2 p.m mountain time mm -hmm. Kartra support they come on for an hour in fact let me show you what it looks like it's actually um i think i'm in the right email every single um tuesday and thursday they do a one hour q a so it looks like um let me see it looks like this so you just got to register and this is where I learned everything. So every, I'm not on it every Tuesday and Thursday, but, but I, I've been on this for two years now, um, since 2018. So I've been on a million of them and that's where I learned everything. So every, every Tuesday and Thursday, they, they go live like this. We're all at it. This is Kartra support. These guys are freaking nerds. All like these right. are the, Welcome, these are like the, the brains behind the software. So they just do a simple Q and a, you can jump on. I, I would just jump on and just, and just sit back and just listen to everybody else's questions. Uh -huh. And that's how I learned a ton. Like, okay. cause all they do is it's a live, it's a live Q and A and people just come on with questions and they answer them and they do a screen share and they'll walk you through. So a lot of the times I'm just a fly on the wall and I'll just sit there for an hour and learn how to use the damn system. So we do that every Tuesday and Thursday, or they do that every Tuesday and Thursday. And then over here on Facebook, you can always come into the group. I think there's like 20,000 people. Yeah, 20,000 people. You can come into the Facebook group and ask any random question. These are 20,000 people that are all just like us, trying to run ads, trying to capture a damn lead. That's it, 20,000 of them. So you can always jump in there, ask a question, and freaking you know, 20,000 people will reply with an awesome answer. So the support is there, but at the same time, you have me. So whenever you need me, like I'll jump on, I'll do a damn page for you. I'll edit, I'll walk you through, I'll teach you. Like I can, you can delegate a lot of this stuff to me. Like, uh -huh. Hey David, my email, you know, can you check my email auto, auto responder to see if it's working? Like I'll jump on for free because Kartra, they pay me to refer people. So there is some type of financial interest for me. Let's just keep it real, right? I want you to succeed with the software. So you keep it and they pay me every month on your account, which allows me to not have to charge you. Right. So you get a lot of my time for free, but after you you learn the basics of this, you'll you'll know it all. Like, and it's it, I mean it's it's basic. So see if Bomb does Bomb even have an? Do they have? I think they do have an email autoresponder, right? I think so. Yeah, they have where you can schedule emails. So you want it? Yeah, you want to be able to set up a handful. Like, yeah, you know, no, I don't want to do anything. I mean, uh, I'd rather just do something that's more simple yeah <laughs> i have my mom because that's what my your broker my request. broker wants me to have so i've yeah. got it um i know how to use it but okay uh, okay bunch of stuff. well these <laughs> funnels in here the shared funnels um here is the seller guide one there's a seller guide one and then a buyer's list 
if you want to focus on buyers and giving away a list, you can do that as well. Like here's a simple, simple page. Let's say you were talking about, we're talking about buying now. So every week our video is focused on educating people on what it takes to buy. Like if that was the campaign, then every, every week, okay guys. And by the way, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can request your list of properties that are on the market today. So if you want to focus on buyers, that's the way to do it. You take in a one single page, they click on the yellow button, rush me the list ASAP homes under 500 K on the way. Basic, like basic, that's how you capture a lead of someone interested in buying. But, but again, what everyone does is they'll just try to post this link on social media and hold their breath and cross their fingers when it's like, no, dude, you got to run an ad. You got to run an ad to this page, you know? So I have a ton of these funnels already done. Just let me know when you set up the 14 day trial and I'll, I'll import them to your account. Okay. Okay. So, um, what else do we got? Um, I think that's it. I'm this video was July 12th. You got to roll out that next video. Yeah. You got to roll out that next video. You have this listing right here. Do you want to run an ad on this listing? I do want to add, run it out on that listing. Um, um, well, that one's not my listing, but there's um, um, my on my YouTube. I just posted the video that I want to do the ad on. Perfect. Okay. So then, and then, so I click the link. Is this a, is it, this ain't a bomb bomb page, is it? Or is it? No, this is from MLS. Okay. Okay. See, so, so again, that's what everyone's, so information requests. So you can click this and you can fill out the form. Uh -huh. I'd rather have them fill out the form before they even see all this information. Okay. Right. 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 right? So they saw my video of the listing. That was uh -huh. enough. That was enough to whet their appetite. Click the button, fill out the form, and then I'll send you all this information. But if you're showing me all this information up front, mm, okay, cool. I'm out. I got it. Yeah. You know what I mean? So yeah. you never got my information and I got all yours. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and the only reason why I clicked out is uh -huh. because maybe that wasn't in my price range or maybe the property just didn't fit my, my interest for whatever reason, but mm -hmm. I'm still looking. So right? I was, I ran, I wanted to go ahead and put that on there on my um, Facebook should I delete it though? And, or, um, I think I can still, you can still go in and like edit it. Right. Cause it's delete, not delete what this whole, um, post, post? That I on that video. Yeah. Oh yeah. You can just Redo click it. these three dots and delete the post. Right. And then we can just run it as an ad or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so this is not the video. Go ahead and put it on there. It's been sitting in my phone for weeks. <laughs> this is so not this video, right? That video, yeah. Well, I want to do an ad on both of them. Um, I'm, um, the my listing, um, I haven't put anything on um, my Facebook yet because I wanted to chat with you first and get this thing going um, because I really need to find the buyer on my listing. <laughs> okay. So then what you want to do is, is put that video on Facebook, uh -huh. upload it here to the business page, write out the text, and then, and then, and then we need, we need a landing page. Right. So when they click on learn more, they're coming straight to this one page. Yeah. So here's what you should do today. Yep. You should upload the video today, write out the text and then activate the 14 day trial. Mm -hmm. And then I'll send you over this funnel. Mm -hmm. And then, and then we can go live. We can go live with the ad first thing in the morning. We'll, we'll chat again in the morning because there's a few things that we got to do to this page before we set it live. Okay. But activate the trial today, upload the list today, or upload the video today, mm -hmm. and let's chat first thing in the morning. And that, that call will be a 30-minute call where all we're doing is updating this page and doing a few things to the, to, the, to the ads manager, which we have to set up a custom audience and we have to set up a custom conversion. Okay. And we could spend 30 minutes in the morning and, 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 and then I can, I can walk you through the entire ad. Actually, you know what? Let's, let's, let's plan for 60 minutes. Okay. 60 minute call in the morning where we're updating the Karcher page and we're setting up our custom audience and our custom conversion and we're running the ad. Okay. 
and that ad can go live in the morning. Let's do that. Okay. Yeah. So just, um, I can do pretty much ready today. I may have some time to do a video today if I can, but well, I'm going to do my listing video. So does that count? <laughs> yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. What video, what, so then what video do you already have? Not a listing? Um, if you, can you go to my, um, YouTube? do I have my YouTube on my, uh, if you do, it shouldn't be because, um, no, I do. You don't I have my Instagram. Um, I don't think you have a um, hundred subscribers on your YouTube no, that's channel. What it is. Okay. No. So I don't. when you don't have, when you don't have one hundred subscribers, you cannot customize a link. So I always tell people don't add it here. Okay. Just yet. Go to my Instagram, I think, or or maybe not. You can just go to. I'm trying to think where I have it. Let me see. Um, I th well, Surprise Valley is what it should be under, I think. Mm. Is it this? Dot? No. No, that takes you straight. Fix that. Um, that's okay. I got it. Um, I could find. I could try to find you on on YouTube. I could probably send it to you real quick if I can find it on my phone. So that, that video, you don't want to do it on that video? You want to do a new one or what? Um, well, I, I was thinking about doing both, um, I, but I probably should do my listing because I really need it. Um, what am I doing? YouTube. Exact dollar and when you're Phew. Bless you. Perfect. Um, YouTube. Um. Um. Okay, here we go. I will send it to you somehow. You could just Facebook message it to me. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Okay, there we go. Um. So then you have two different video or, or you're thinking of having two different videos for one listing? I know these are two separate listings. These are two. So, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. One's yours and one's not yours. The other one is not mine. Um, but the agent who has the listing, um, that's actually BJ McCarthy, the one that mm -hmm. would get in touch with you. Um, I just would love to sell that house for her. Awesome. Gosh, that's so freaking beautiful, man. That is. It's a gorgeous little place. Gosh. It's perfect. It's perfect. That, so, so that video, do you have the raw file? Like, do you have the uh, actual? I did, yeah, I downloaded it. I have Okay, it perfect. Upload it to your business page, just like anything else and, and right. write out the text. Um, mm -hmm. and, 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 and the whole objective is to click learn more. Right. So in the text, because it's not a video of you doing it and you're not going to verbally be able to say, Hey guys, and by the way, click learn more, then you have to just write it out in the text. Write it out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, if anything, let's just do this one. Yeah. Yeah. No, this is, this is definitely the one that I need to be doing. Um, maybe in the future do the other one. If it still doesn't sell. So this one's yours or not yours? This one, this one is mine. Yes. God, Kenzie, we need to sell this one. Let's sell this freaking house. We do. Let's sell <laughs> this house. <laughs> I need to. Yes. Okay. We need to, we need to upload this to the business page, write out the text, click, learn more. That needs to be in the text as well. Um, Click learn more for all the details. Click learn more for all the photos. Click learn more you, for. What is the best approach in your opinion on typing that out? Like, would you put like in all caps at the top, learn, click learn more, or do you do that towards the, the end? How? Yeah, the end. the end, the end. You would do it at okay. the end, like at the bottom, at the bottom of the actual um, text. Okay. 
So it'd be, it'd be more towards the bottom. Like the top would just, would just get their, you know, maybe some specs of the property, three bedroom, two bath, maybe yeah. put a few emojis in it as well. That, yeah. that, that okay. looks good as well when you do a few emojis, mm -hmm. but, but text like this, like exactly the specs of the property, but then click learn more for all, for, for, for more information or click learn more um, to get even more details or click learn more to access all photos, all 17 photos now. Or, right. or whatever, like there has to be some type of, 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 of extra incentive that we want to give them. Right. Well, and that's, that's, um, well, we've got a video and we have pictures, so, um, I don't, you know, whatever. Perfect. So then with. that's what you'll put in the, in the, in the, in the text, click learn more to access all 15 photos and all okay. the details on this beautiful property. Okay. Yeah. You know, that goes and then, and then boom, they click learn more and they go straight to that one page and they, and we capture that lead. And that's why, the, the, that's why all that is, is important because again, the way you have this set up right now, okay, cool. I click on the link. I come over here. I see everything. I automatically see the price and I'm like blown away and I'm afraid and I freaking click out, but I'm a person that's actually looking. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why not capture that lead? That's what I'm saying. Taking a landing page where I, I, I wet the appetite, but I get them to opt in and then I give them all this information. Because if that person, chances are that's chances are that that listing is only going to one one person. Mm -hmm. But I had fifty people that were interested that I was able to get their name and email from. Guess what? Those four other forty nine people that didn't win the listing, I'm going to email them another listing in the future. Right. But I couldn't have done that if I took them here and they click out. Yeah. Right. I need that lead. I need that interested lead. You know, so, so that's why you're going to be able to build a list of people that, that may have not purchased this one, but they'll be open to know what other listings you have in the future. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why I need that lead and I need that lead up front. So, so yeah, whatever you have to give more photos, more details, that's why you don't want to, you don't want to put all the details in this text. Just a, just a little bit of get me, get me excited yeah. because that's why I'm clicking learn more. I'm clicking learn more to find out more. Right. Right. So, and, and, and then, and so, so yeah, once that, once we set up that 14 day trial, then we'll be able to set up a handful of emails, which I'll help you do. Um, but there needs to be a handful of emails that go out right after, you know, one email goes out right away. Hey Dave, here's all the information. Thank you so much for inquiring. And, and again, there's a call to action to click the calendar, but then the next day, another email goes out. And, 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 and when it comes to a listing, these future emails, let's say you set up seven emails. Mm -hmm. These seven emails are all like a, you want to kind of picture it as a, as, as, as a, as a drama scene, as, as a, as a movie, as a, as a, as a story. Mm -hmm. Hey Dave, just want to, and this could be email number three. Hey Dave, let me tell you about this family that came by last night to take a look at this listing. Like you're just telling me a story and, right. and, and you're getting me to schedule a call. You're getting me to click the link to schedule a call. Right, you're telling me more about this listing as the days go on, and you're creating urgency on the fact that this family last night they were so freaking excited they're thinking about putting it under contract today. So, Dave, if you're interested, click the link below. Let's chat now. I need to talk to you now. I want to show you this beautiful property. And by the way, if this property ain't for you, Dave, I got other ones that you're going to want to take a look at. So, let's chat. Can't wait to talk to you. Right, right. So, it's just a handful of emails that are going to go out automatically. You know, so, mm -hmm. so, so upload the video, upload the video, write out the text, set up the 14 day trial. And then, and then, and then let's, what time can we chat tomorrow? Um, in the morning, it's fine. Okay. Should we just do, I, can we do like at the hour, either, either 10 AM or, or 9 AM or 11 AM, but not like 30, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. That's totally fine. Um, yeah, let's do, um, can we do nine? I think I have to be somewhere. Yeah. Um, well, uh, 11. No, it's perfect. That's perfect. That'll give us plenty of time. So tomorrow we're going to spend all time, all that entire 60 minutes on, on the landing page, setting it all up. And then also the ad side setting all that up. Okay. And we'll knock all that out in 60 minutes. Yeah. Cool. Good. All right, yeah. Kenzie. Yeah. Thanks so, so much. Appreciate it. I will, all, all yes, on. for sure. You're so welcome. Just activate the 14 day trial and I'll email you a calendar reminder in the next few minutes. Okay. Sounds Thanks. good. Okay. Appreciate talk to you tomorrow. Thanks. Thanks. Bye-bye.